I'm back. Rudrance for the Matrix and Road Show. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and pound the like button straight into submission. We're going to talk about the slap heard around the world. Uh, again, many of our subscribers, I'm sure, did not watch it live because, well, who watches the Oscars live? They had a bump in ratings, and many are suspecting it's because of the issue that started trending online. <laughs> <laughs> when the uh, word of the slap from Will Smith on Chris Rock started making its way around social media. People turned it over there to see what the hell was going on. After all, you had a grown Hollywood actor slapping the piss out of another one. Now look, I thought the damn thing was fake initially until the aftermath of keep your my wife's name out of your effing mouth started happening. And then you were like, yeah, okay. Now, what's so weird about this is the fact that Will Smith laughed at the joke. I'm still trying to figure that out. Laughed at the joke. And then you glanced over and they showed Jada. And Jada looked like Emperor Palpatine over there. Execute Order 66. And next thing you know, it was like, well, something took over Will Smith. He marched on stage and slapped the ever-loving hell out of Chris Rock. Well, I hate to break the Will Smith. Or anybody else out there that's uh, celebrating this as brave, stunning, and courageous because there are a few people who are. And look, I understand you want to defend your wife, okay? But here's the thing. Chris Rock is a comedian, okay? And what does comedians do? They make fun of people, okay? People, they make fun of everything. It was a G.I. Jane 2 joke. I mean, come on. A G.I. Jane 2. Trust me. Chris Rock could have hit him in some places that would have been much, much more hurtful. And yeah, you got to wonder if some of that is not something building up in Will Smith. It's beyond me why this dude is still married to her. I don't know. Okay, supposedly open marriage and all that. Well, the one thing we do know, people are flocking to Chris Rock because he has a tour. That's right. Ticket sales have skyrocketed after the Oscar flat, uh, slap here. Yeah. I did see some conspiracy theories where people are thinking this was done to help the ticket sales of this tour. I just don't know that I believe that. Following the slap talked about worldwide at the 94th Academy Awards. This is the post-millennial celebration. Tickets for Chris Rock's upcoming comedy tour have seen a surge in sales. Citing sales from secondary ticket marketplace TickPick, Comic Book reported that more tickets have been sold overnight to see Rock in the city of Boston than in the past month combined. Rock is scheduled to perform at the Wilbur Theater in Boston, Mass. On Wednesday, March 30th through April 1st, Rock is scheduled to begin his Ego Death World Tour April 2, I still have not seen Spiral. I'm going to have to watch that. I, I, I'm i a huge horror movie fan. I love the Saw movies. Well, one through four. Uh, my wife does not like horror movies, so I have not watched it yet. Um, I need to watch it and do a review. Tick Pick also reported that the cheapest tickets for the Soul show sold at $46 on March 18th have seen an increase. That price is now... Skyrocketed 641%, $341 for the cheapest seats to this co these concerts now. During the Oscars on Sunday evening, actor Will Smith was seen walking on stage and slapping Rock in the face after he made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith and how she was starring in G.I. Uh, G. Jane 2. She has what they call Opisha which is, of course, a thing that causes you not to be able to grow your hair. It's a disease, it is. Uh, <laughs> Chris Rock said, Will Smith just slapped the shit out of me. And then, of course, Will Smith went on to uh, eventually apologize to Chris Rock, and he got on stage, and he gave this uh, total and complete, it felt completely ingen ingenuous, uh, Apology. It was cringeworthy. And uh, he got up there and he talked about how violence and love and something, blah, 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 blah. 
turned into a virtue signaling moment. Um, after Denzel and Tyler Perry basically got in his ear and said, dude, you may have blown your entire career because you just slapped the shit out of Chris Rock during the Oscars. Let's be real. That's about as much publicity as the Oscars have gotten in any real way in what? 15 or 20 years? I mean, this this was, as much as I hate to say it, it was probably good for the Oscars. Because for a matter of a day and a half, the Oscars was actually relevant again for the first time in forever. For the first time in forever. And even at that, they weren't relevant from a watching live perspective. Because let's face it, nobody's probably going to slap the crap out of anybody during next year's Oscars. Okay? Although you never know. Tell me what you think, Matrix and Roadshow fans. Chris Rock. Man, he's a veteran comedian. Generally speaking, he pulls no punches. He is funny. Um, And I don't know about you. Is it just me? Or how many Dave Chappelle jokes came out of this? How many jokes do you think Dave Chappelle wrote for next special involving this slap? I can only imagine because Chris Rock, I mean, <laughs> can you imagine? Have you seen Dave Chappelle lately? If if Will Smith would have tried that, oh, my God, he got his head knocked off. I mean, for crying out loud, this was crazy. And now Chris Rock is reaping the benefits with some massive ticket sales. Three Think about that. $346 when the cheapest seat prior was in the 40s? Wow. Wow. So he had to take a slap, but he lined his pockets pretty good at the same time, too. Peace. I'm out. Till next.